there anything uh, in the recent uh, news or current events that has caught your attention, uh, new technology or legislation or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Uh, technologically, there's there's a few. I won't go on about F and G again, but it's the first one that comes to yeah, mind yeah. <laughs> in terms of a game changer technology. Um, we also have to think about technology advancements we're seeing in seismic imaging, okay. particularly in um, difficult geological uh, environments, particularly where salt is uh, involved, where it's hard to image through the salt. So we're seeing a great deal of breakthrough in the quality. Um, of seismic imaging which helps us see reservoirs and, and, and the, the actual geology we're dealing with. Uh, and also you see 4D seismic now coming in a lot more which, which adds that time element over time and you, you can see where oil and gas reserves are being produced and where there's pockets left um, to go out with deviated drilling and deviated drilling has also been a very significant breakthrough in our industry. Um, and in deep water we're seeing oh, that's huge one, yeah. leaps in deep water now in terms of how deep we can go to actually drill wells but also uh, develop fields you know, with tension leg platforms and other floating systems rather than jackets that are actually fixed to the floor. I mean, we started with all that in the North Sea all those years mm -hmm. ago. So technological advancements right across, right across the board there. All right, uh, just touching on shale, uh, shale gas in particular in North America, do you see uh, something similar happening in Australia? And what is, what is Shell doing in North America with regards to uh, shale gas? So Shell has a global um, business in shale gas and tire gas and light tight oil. So we call it unconventional oil right. and gas. Uh, the core of our portfolio is in North America, in the US and in, and in Canada, indeed. Okay. Um, so the majority of our investments have, in the last 10 years, gone into North America. But we now also have a global business, an international business. Um, there's some real centers for that where we've gone into major joint ventures and, and significant investments. So they include um, China, is a very important mm -hmm. uh, focus for us. Uh, the Ukraine is also an important investment. And throughout Europe and the Middle East, we have some new growth and some new, new areas, okay. um, right through North Africa, Europe, and, and the Middle East, um, where we've, we're looking at early uh, exploration. We're also uh, involved with unconventional gas in Australia. Uh, currently that is focused principally upon our investment in Arrow Energy. We have a 50% investment with CNPC on the East Coast with Arrow and that's a CBM, a, a coal bed methane yeah. play. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining me and if you have any questions or any future topics you would like us to cover just comment below or hit us up on Facebook. That's all from me today. I'll see you again next time.